Inside they hit it. Uh, Aquabell. Aquabell has got there by a half head. Now close for second. Final catch or gelato followed then by Zoama, Governor Pete. Greet the judge back behind those in the field. Gus old boy. Never a chance, Bo Vale. Followed then by We Did It. On high above, pulled up very quickly after crossing the line. And one of the last to greet the judge was Star Journey. Another good finish here, but you'll find Aquabell, in my humble opinion. And it's pretty humble. Aquabell in the centre. It was ridden by Mitch Newman, riding well, this young boy. Mitch Newman from Warwick Farm, the, the winner trained by Reg Rigby at Warwick Farm. A five-year-old chestnut mare, Belciano, out of Some Don't. Good finish. Final catch. Was putting in a big run there at one stage. And on high above out very wide. And Gelato got home very late on the rails. But you'll find Aquabell as the winner. Now it looks as though, well, maybe final catch second, Gelato third. Uh, on high above was very wide. Not too far away, they were pretty well grouped as they went across the line. Governor Pete, Beau Vale was cluttered up between runners. Couldn't get a clear go at any stage in the straight. He's a very big galloper. He didn't fit, he pulled up very quickly after crossing the line. But in the uh, rush up, he's finished around about, I'd imagine, fifth or sixth across the line. Aquabell, $12 even, three twenty. Final catch, $4.10. Gelato, $2.80. A tremendous finish to race seven, the Merino Cup. Uh, that winner, Aquabell, it's now had uh, 17 starts, four wins, and a second now. Last raced at Hawkesbury on the 14th of December. Finished eighth in a field of eight, Aquabell. It's raced by V.E. Vixner, C.B. and Mrs. L.M. Sullivan, and B.R. and Mrs. B. Hume or Holm in partnership trained by Reg Rigby at Warwick Farm. 723, just standing by, they are official now. 723 official, 723 official. Number six on high above finished fourth. Yes, and close up behind those Beau Vale, but as I said, pulled up very quickly after crossing the line. Beau Vale officially has finished fifth. So the number 7236, a short head by a head. So a good finish, a short head ahead, 123 the time. We'll come back with more in a moment. And the last event from Goulburn, the scratchings of five and ten, the late one. I mean the octopus, trained at Queenbean by Miffy Ray. So this is the southeast race racing version of the big O, the octopus. Well supported on the toe too. A 350 half a plume, 480 the octopus, 560 Coastal Express, 730 Irish Risk. So the top four, good tussle going on. Now the octopus goes up, Irish Risk about to move along. Half a plume, trained by Bede Murray, has gone in. Leanne Olsen on half a plume. Line is just about set now for the last. The next meeting at Goulburn is the big one, the Cup Day. And that is Fri uh, what is it? Friday the 20th of February. Next meeting at Goulburn, the big Cup Day, Goulburn City Cup Day. Friday, February the 20th. Now they're all in for the last. Stand by. 1,400 metres the journey, folks. Hold on to your briefs. Here they go. Pokey's pet, rich in jeans, down towards the inside. Vane capture in gate three. Now they're set. Good level start with the exception of Irish Risk who was slowly away and the octopus didn't jump all that well. Rich in jeans landed in front followed by Perky's pet running second then Trapani. Now half a plume is going around the field and searching for the lead. In behind those Vane Carpture followed by Coastal Express runner for the octopus a second last. And Irish Risk at the tail of the field. There's a fair turn of speed on as they race down the back past the thousand. A good tussle for the lead. Rich in jeans a long neck over half a plume. About two and a half off in third Perky's pet. The octopus has moved up on the outside to be fourth now, followed then by Trapani on the outside. Vane captures on the rails, a break behind those Irish risk gaining ground. Coastal Express is relegated to second last and about two then. Runniford at the tail of the field, down the side, 700 out, and the leader Rich and Jeans a length in front of half a plume, followed then by Pokey's Pet. The Octopus is lurking behind that group, further back in the field then. Off the track, Irish risk followed by Trapani. Vane Carpter uh, shuffled back on the rails, back behind those Coastal Express, and Runniford last around on the turn in the lucky last at Goulburn and going wide half a plume is the leader the, the octopus on the outside is running on Rich and Jeans has had enough followed then by Trapani down towards the inside and out very wide Coastal Express is putting in a run but it's the octopus at the 200 the octopus is the leader out very wide Coastal Express and Runniford is driving through now it's the octopus the leader holding the lead the octopus in front and the octopus yes oh I don't know the octopus or Coastal Express I was almost ready to go for the octopus but Coastal Express 
Express has dived right on the line. It's very close. In behind those Runnerford, followed then by Trapani. The next one was Vane Capture, followed by Rich in Jeans, pulling up quickly, half a plume, and back towards the tail, Pokey's pet. Oh, I'm worried about this outside horse. Extremely worried about this outside horse here. Coastal Express. Uh... I'll turn the public address system off and I think I'll go for the outside horse. <laughs> well, the Big O, the octopus, the, our local version of the Big O, the octopus, everywhere was in front, everywhere bar the last ride. Uh, down the outside, Coastal Express, and between those, Runniford came with a late run. It's the octopus in front. Now stand by, number three's got it, I think. Stand by. Uh, the judge has called for a developed print, but uh, I don't know. I really don't know, folks. So I'll, I'm a little bit of a coward here. I was almost ready to declare the octopus, but our Coastal Express has lunged on the outside, and I'll leave this one to the judge. Runniford will get third. Runniford third. Now, the, uh, the two in the photo here, it's very close. Coastal Express was showing 451.70. The octopus, which was a number two, it was showing 461.70, and Runniford third. Now, Runniford is, uh, let me see, number uh, number eight for the place dividend. It was showing $4.10. An extremely close finish in the last one. The Octopus in front everywhere bar the last bound. Coastal Express zoomed down the outside. They've gone to the line. There's only a, oh, look, the narrowest margin between uh, the two. I think I might go for Coastal Express. Although the octopus, incidentally, as Barry Cranston tells me, two lady trainers, the octopus is trained by Miffy Ray at Queenbian and Coastal Express is trained at uh, Braidwood by Libby Maxwell. Bra Barry, before you go, your big cup carnival, your big cup day is the next meeting here? Yes, we're very... Well, there's no doubt that's the tightest photo at Goulburn today. Uh, the octopus and Coastal Express are in that photo for first with eight third. Mooney Valley Race 9, they're about to move up. And the barrier trials on at Mooney Valley tonight under the lights. They're expecting another crowd of about five or 6,000 people. They'll probably get a bit more because Spartacus is barrier trialling tonight at Mooney Valley under the lights. Uh, he's preparing, of course, for the Australia Day Stakes coming up in about uh, two weeks' time. So we'll have Spartacus there at the valley tonight. 260 for Aranova as they move up for race number nine. Warwick Nabil Sarajevo Girl, 14 and 390, beat Warman and Whitewater Bay, 50 50 Quinella, trifecta 2,271.90 on race eight with correct weight.